Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have some game-breaking information today on the video because yes, as you've seen in the title, the team of the year is leaked. We know all 11 players that are going to be inside of the team of the year coming, expected to come this Friday on FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. So what we're going to do this video is yes, we are going to look at some of these leaks. I know some of you guys do not want to see that. So there's going to be two segments of this video. We're going to take a look at these cards, how they affect the market, because the reason why I look at leaks and the reason why we take a look at this content when it is leaked and when it comes out is because, because it impacts the market. Players' prices are going down. Some player prices are going up. And we need this information to know why those cards are moving the way they are on the market. So we are going to take a look at this today. But we're going to take a look at that, how this market could be impacted in the next two days as we head into Team of the Year. Talk about upgrade pack stuff based on the players that we see. And again, just talk about these cards in general now that we kind of know the team and the players that are left out. But we're going to have a section of the video that is not going to include any leak information. So if you're somebody who does not want to see Team of the Year leaks and you want to be surprised a little bit this uh, Friday when these cards do get released, what I would say to do is check the subtitles on this video because there are going to be uh, like a leaks section and a non-leak section where in the second half of the video, I will not be mentioning any leaks. So if you want to fast forward it there, you can absolutely go ahead and do that. But what I want to take a look at first is we are going to take a look at the full leaked team of the year. We're going to take a look at the cards that are in confirmed by our trusty leakers. Uh, we do not have stats. These are just the cards. I know everybody is excited to see this and this is all of the rage right now across the FIFA community is these team of the year cards because there's some very interesting guys that got in, right? Again, this is a voted team of the year and here it is. The FIFA 22 team of the year this is it. This is it confirmed, right? This is the leaked team. Obviously, a lot of you guys are going to look right at the attacker position and say, where in the world is Mohamed Salah? He is not in according to the leaks. But that does not mean he will not get a team of the year card. Of course, he will be most likely a part of the 12th man vote. Again, they have not said anything about the 12th man vote, but we've had something like that in the past multiple years. So we would expect for it to come this year as well. Lewandowski, Mbappe, Messi, Jorginho, Kevin De Bruyne, Conte, a totally Premier League midfield, Cancelo, Ruben Diaz, two green links, into a perfect link with Cancelo and Ruben Diaz, and then the strong link with Marquinhos and Hakimi, and then also Donnarumma in net. So I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed with some of the cards that got in here, especially because of some of the cards that got left out. We don't know exact positions. We do not know exact stats, but we know the players. We know the players that are going to be releasing this team. And upon first look at this, I've been saying it all week. I knew that Mbappe was going to get in, whether it was going to be in the main 11 or as a part of the 12th man vote because he is literally the cover star of this game. And we knew that that was going to carry some weight in this team of the year voting. Jorginho gets in. Lewandowski for the second year in a row. Messi, of course, is in. Of course, most people are going to look at this and say, where's Salah? Where is Cristiano Ronaldo? People are going to wish that Edward Mendy was in net instead of Donnarumma. People are going to say, where's Kimmich? Where's Barella? Uh, where's Teo Hernandez? Where's Trent Alexander-Arnold, right? It's crazy. We could see some more of those cards, maybe as they release them as honorable mentions and stuff like that. But as we see it, these are our team of the year players that will be released um, throughout the next couple of weeks on this game. So first thoughts when I look at this is, Again, it all comes down to the stat boost, EA Sports. You pick some pretty good names. Jorginho, I feel like, is the least hype name out of this entire team from, like, FIFA meta. But they could give this guy a really, really insane and sick card. You remember, like, Modric from a couple years ago. I think it was FIFA 19 when Modric has his insane year, won the Ballon d'Or, and got the 99 rated team of the year card. Now, I don't know if Jorginho is going to be that high rated. Probably not. But hopefully EA give his card an insane, insane boost to make it really good in this game of FIFA. So again, these are the cards. Everybody's hyped. Everybody's talking about it. You can already envision how insane a lot of these cards are going to look. But you look at this team, there's only three leagues represented from this team. Is this the first year that we haven't had La Liga represented in the team of the year? I mean, technically, you could say that Messi part of the last year was at Barcelona. So technically, he was in a La Liga team or at a La Liga club. But we only have Premier League, League Un, and Lewandowski. Besides that, there's no other leagues in this team. I just think that is 
crazy and that's going to impact how this market responds a little bit to the post team of the year market i think on some of the higher end cards and also for upgrade packs right there needs to be something to be said about League One upgrade packs, Premier League upgrade packs, because those are going to be what, there's really no point in opening anything else. Maybe you're opening bonus they get for Lewandowski, but even then, I would just stick to like 81 plus packs in that case. So we'll talk about all that, but again, with Team of the Year, it comes down to how they boost up these cards. And I'm going to show you a prime example, right? Last year for Team of the Year, we didn't have any 99 rated cards and the boosts were not that good. Now we know the cards that are going to be in Team of the Year. We don't know the stats yet, but we just, we just need to know that EA Sports, you're going to juice these cards up and make them the best cards that we will see, right? Look at some of the differences on these items that we saw from FIFA 20, where they really juiced Team of the Year. They gave us multiple 99s, 99 Messi, 99 Cristiano Ronaldo, down here, 99 Van Dyke, right? Three 99 rated cards in the squad with insane boosts on the cards. And then you look at FIFA 21 last year where those boosts were just not as good. No 99s. It was a letdown, right? Last year, team of the year, people were not very happy. Again, look at this Kevin De Bruyne. FIFA 20, Kevin De Bruyne was insane, right? 88 pace, 96 shot, 99 passing, 96 physicality, 82 defense, 93 physical, right? Um, I think I said physicality instead of passing. 99 passing, 93 physicality. This KDB had 84 passing, 75 defense, minus 7 from the FIFA 20 team of the year, and 88 physical. This card, again, we, people were hoping for a KDB like this one, and they got a watered-down 96-rated KDB. So hopefully, the KDB that we get this year is more like the FIFA 20 boost. And the whole team that we... I hope we get 99s, right? This needs to return back to... These are the best cards of the year, EA Sports, until like, Ju like June or July when you're releasing the crazy stuff, right? Make these cards insane. That is all that I ask. So since we have these leaks and since we have already these movements and already, the, already have this like knowledge of the cards that are going to be in, what's happening on this game? Well, this is where the market's been impacted already. Of course, as you see these cards that are guaranteed and leaked to be in the team of the year, that of course means that some of their gold items will be going out of packs. So prime example, numero uno is Kylian Mbappe. He was 880,000 coins and maybe even a little bit lower on the PlayStation the past couple of days, lowest on Sunday. And now with the team of the year being leaked, his card has risen up 30,000 coins. He is 930k at this time as people have gone out, seen him in the leaks and have bought his card back up. If you feel like you missed out on this Mbappe, um, you know, there's probably going to be another point. He's 920 actually right now. He will probably get near 900,000 coins again. These leaks were released in the late night time frame. They were released where a lot of people were not on the game. It was late night UK hours, just in the evening for the US hours. So you're going to see more market movements on some of these cards that are in team of the year or out of team of the year um, today. So Mbappe is getting bought back because people obviously know that his gold card's going out of packs. And um, that would mean no supply for it. And there's just all that demand. So people want to buy this card up. So it makes sense why this Mbappe has jumped a little bit in price. Now, Mbappe's headliner card has actually dropped. He was 4.6 mil earlier today. And there was just one on the market for 4.3. He's dropped down a decent amount. As you can see here, 4.4, 4.5. There's a lot of these at 4.5 mil right now. People are selling this Mbappe because they're like, oh my goodness, there's another better version of Mbappe that is now confirmed to be coming. So they're going to sell this item because they think that they want to go out and get the best one that is going to be available, aka the team of the year. Now, I still think the team of the year is going to be like six and a half, seven million coins around that range. So it's going to be more expensive than this Mbappe, but it's going to be very curious to watch this 93 Mbappe over the next couple of days, but that's why you see the panic selling on that. Other market movements that we see because of this league team of the year, Mohamed Salah not being in team of the year has exploded his headliners card price. He's actually 1.1 mil right now. He just got bought up. He was 1.15 just a little bit ago when I looked at his price on the market. And that was from people that were going out and, um, buying this Salah because they were like, oh no, Salah is not in team of the year. So I'm going to go out and buy his next best item that will be his best item on the game since he's probably not getting a team of the year. Um, I guess still Salah is in the running for the 12th man vote, but I think if and when they do a 12th man vote, Cristiano, Salah, Neymar, Benzema would all be included in that. And just because of the popularity of this man, Cristiano Ronaldo, it would really make me think that Ronaldo would win that 12th man vote. So 
That being said, I feel like Salah might get snubbed from being in team of the year this year. Unfortunately, I know a lot of you Liverpool fans really wanted to see him. Now, there's still a hope for an honorable mention if EA is going to do some of those, which I do think that they will. So there's still some hope for that. But other prices that have gone down on the market, this Hakimi wants to watch is down like 30K. He was 330,000 coins when the leak came out that he was going to be in the team of the year. So his price has dropped off a little bit. I was trying to look at Conte informs as well. I don't think Conte's really dropped off at all. And as, you, as you can see, Hakimi has maybe bounced back a little bit, but he was 330K. Got Panic sold down to 300. He's still kind of chilling down a little bit. And I think that some of the selling might still continue a little bit into today on Wednesday as people wake up and see this leak, see it going around, and seeing the news about this team being leaked on the game. So just kind of keep that in mind that that is what is going on right now. Conte's informs again as I was seeing this. Conte, of course, just had that inform a couple weeks ago, two weeks ago. Um, I believe his card is still somewhere around like the 660,000 coin range. So he has not dropped at all. There's a 670 Conte. Yeah, so Conte really is not down at all at this moment because he was still chilling around that range before this. But you are seeing a couple cards that have dipped off like the Conte, like the uh, Mbappe headliner card. I think the Messi ones to watch item is down as well. This is just from people that follow you know, Twitter and follow these leaks in the foot community that are going to see this stuff and be like, okay, I'm going to sell the Messi that I have because I know there's a better one that is coming or they fear that this brand new item is going to make people sell the current highest rated one on the market. But in reality, these team of the years are going to be very, very, very expensive when they get released. So that is the leaks and that's what's going on right now. Of course, if you take a look at this team once again, I mean, it's crazy. I just, I can't get over this team and how like, symmetrical it is i mean you have one two three four five psg players in this team of the year and psg didn't even win their league last year right they didn't even win the league now of course messi is in there as a psg player even though a lot of his accomplishments came with argentina one ballon d'or and with his, his success in the earlier parts of 2021 with barcelona so you can of course debate this all that you want but this is the final team of the year right and this is what we have and these are the cards that we will see now the ruben diaz cancelo and de bruyne triangle that you're going to be able to create is going to be nuts donnarumma marquinhos and akimi that's going to be a nuts little connection as a lot of people already use those cards in this game now don't take it the wrong way. These cards are going to be very expensive and very hard to attain. But with how the whole market is this year, they're going to be, in my opinion, some of the cheaper team of the years that we have seen. So just keep in mind, I'm going to do a price prediction video very soon on this team of the year 11. We'll talk through how much I think these guys will be costing when they're in packs. So make sure to watch out for that. But since there's such a focus on League One and Premier League, that's where everybody's going to be focusing their upgrade pack expenditures during this promo as well. I think I would I would be surprised if League One rares were under a thousand coins right now because Pete, yeah, PC League One rares are twelve hundred coins a piece because people are going out, they're seeing the leaks, and they're going and buying these specific League rares. Now, let me remind you that last year during Team of the Year, they did not require SBCs. The upgrade packs did not require League specific rare golds that was during team of the season now they could require league specific rares and we hope that they don't because if they do that means these premier league rares and the league un rares are going to be like 2,000 coins a pop, maybe even more. It's going to be crazy with how expensive those are. If they put out the premium 25K league upgrade packs, which is what we would expect them to do, um, like the ones they put out during Black Friday, if they do those again with league-specific requirements this time, these League One and Premier League rares are going to go crazy, crazy high in price. So that's just one thing that I'd be very careful with right now at the moment. And if you're investing in some of this stuff, just be careful because um, I think it's a safer shout just to buy regular rares because even if there are league specific requirements, I still think EA would put out an 81 plus double, which would just require all rares. They're going to release all the upgrade packs possible, right? Just like they did during Black Friday. They had 81 plus packs that were out. I think they even did player picks at a certain amount of time in Black Friday and they did the league upgrade packs. So I would say take the safe route and don't buy League One or Premier League because you know that is a little bit of a gamble, but I still think that they're not gonna require those league specific rares. At least I hope that they don't. If EA were smart, they would drain a ton of coins off the market if they did so. And so many people would pay for those league specific upgrade rare SBCs. But last year during team of the year, they didn't require them. 
So all I'm saying is I hope they don't require them this year. I know they did for Black Friday, but I hope that they don't require that for this year. And I hope they change up the requirements as they should. So just be careful and I guess be advised if you're investing in some of that stuff right now. So also, again, with, with such a focus on League One and Prem, as you, as you kind of take a look and think, all right, what other cards might be good investments as people buy up these team of the year items? You know, you take a look at a guy like a Neymar, right? Neymar special cards like the Winter Wild Cards Neymar. What's he going to do, right? Because this is a PSG player links to all. I think Neymar is up right now. 3.9 mil. Is Neymar 4 million coins? Did people go out and buy Neymar today because all these PSG links? Yeah, 3.9. So Neymar is up right now. I would imagine this is because of Mbappe, Messi, all the Marquinhos, Hakimi, all the PSG cards that are in team of the year. This guy is up in price because people are like, oh my goodness, I need to buy this Neymar because he's going to link to like everybody inside of team of the year. So that's part of what's going on on the market right now because of this leaked team of the year promo. Now, Transitioning to the part of this video that is not going to be about leaks, I just want to talk about one thing that is confirmed from EA Sports. We're going to take a look at Twitter right now because EA Sports is going to be posting the full Team of the Year 11 on their Instagram. Their Instagram said that 3.30 p.m. UK time, which is 10.30 a.m. Eastern time, they are going to be posting the full Team of the Year on Thursday. So we're still a day away from that. Uh, and I would assume that those cards they would post them would have confirmed stats and would show the uh, legit cards that we will be getting on Friday. Now, I also think that part of today's content on Wednesday is going to be a loading screen for team of the year. So that means a couple things, right? Let's talk about this market and let's talk about the content that we saw yesterday on this game. Yesterday was a bit of a slower day in terms of the market and content wise. I was able to flip a few cards. I bought some Rabos at like 217 to 220, selling them in the 237 range. I bought some Tierneys um, around 72 to 74K, selling these a little over 80,000 coins, but it was small flips, right? We were grasping for little flips yesterday on the market because there wasn't a lot of movement. They re-released the 83 plus times five, uh, times three packs, sorry, not times five, but they re-released the 83 packs, which EA Sports, we were hoping that you would release the 85 plus times three, but unfortunately they went again and did the 83 plus. By the way, I don't know if you guys can see this, but if you look down here at the bottom, it's, there's like a new timer they're showing the expiration date on these SBCs in a new way, and it's a W. It looks very good, very clean, so GG's to EA Sports for that. But now that we have these until Thursday, what EA is going to do, and I can see this, I can see ahead of this, EA Sports, I know what you're doing. They're going to announce the team on Thursday before 6 p.m. They're going to announce it at 3.30 p.m., and then what they're going to do is they're going to release the 85 plus times 3 SBC when this one expires, and they're going to give you one day to do it. They're going to give you one day. They do this all the time on Thursdays before a brand new promo. They're going to release the 85 plus times three, whatever it requires, an 84 rated squad with two informs, an 85 rated squad, an 86 rated squad, whatever they require for that SBC. I think it's going to be released on Thursday because EA is going to have you fearing that you're going to miss out on packing a team of the year after they show you the cards, then give you some packs to open uh, inside of the game. So just keep an eye out for that. Stock up on a little bit of fodder if you think you're going to do those SBCs right away. If you don't have enough fodder, just kind of keep that in mind. I think that's 100% what they are going to do on this game. So just be aware of that. Now, other things that we're still looking out for, right? We're still looking out for the icon player pick. Sorry, not icon, the hero. The hero player pick um, SBC. And since that did not drop yesterday, you saw some heroes move around a little bit on the market. Cordoba, who's actually back down 400 K 400 K man. Is, is this SBC actually coming today then or something is, are people posting about this coming because Cordoba, can we take a look at his graph really fast, man? What in the world is with this panic sell on, on Cordoba right now? He was like 450 K, uh, just a couple hours ago. So we got panic sold down into content, went to 410 rebounded back to like 440, almost 450, and he's been kind of falling since then. There must be some sort of leak or something that the, the player pick is going to come today because Cordoba is down at 400,000 coins. And as you can see, zero games played for the current club. That to me is an investor um, or somebody who bought this card to try to trade it. And now they're getting it out because they're worried of either the team of the year leaks that are out there or um, for whatever reason, this Cordoba is down. So this is kind of interesting to see this down, but a lot of those heroes are still low in price. So I think if you're wanting to buy one of these top tier heroes for your team, especially with team of the year around the corner, 
Uh, Ginola is, is in this category as well. He was 980K. I think he is still under a million coins right now. Um, whenever this hero player pick is dropped, I think that's going to be your buy time to pick up in the panic cell on these cards like Ginola, Di Natale, Cordoba, and Abedi Pele. That's when I would look to maybe get involved, especially seeing... Um, you know, the hype that League One cards have in this game recently. A Betty Pele and Ginola would be great pickups, in my opinion. L Serie A links with um, the other two, uh, with Di Natale and Cordoba, would be pretty good pickups as well, in my opinion. And again, just continue to watch this market as we head into Team of the Year, because I think once Friday hits, you're going to start to see the liftoff after that. And a lot of these attackers and very hype cards are going to rise up on the market. So, also for today, on um, Wednesday, we will have the team of the week. And of course, you've got a couple predictions. We'll take a look at a quick prediction here. Ben Yetter, Bruno Fernandez, which I believe Bruno Fernandez is getting a team of the week card today. You've got Laborde and Wilson in here as headliners. Um, Immobile. But it's kind of funny because Ben Yetter had a card last year during team of the year. He was in team of the week last year during the same time. So that's very intriguing. Be careful with that signature signings, Ben Yetter. If he is in team of the week, I think that signature signings version will go down because the inform is going to be cheap. We talked about that yesterday. So along with this content today and along with potentially that hero player pick, I think one thing that is also pretty much confirmed, not, not confirmed, but I guess I would expect to see this unless EA Sports um, is really not going to you know try to preview their team of the year promo at all. I think today would be a great day, and they did this last year as well, a loading screen for team of the year saying team of the year starting in two days, whatever hours. That would be something that I would expect to see uh, today on this game. Other than that, team of the week, maybe the loading screen, EA Sports, of course, allowing people. I've got a lot of packs that are saved up right now at the moment. I've got like 125 packs, have some cards here that I've been building those packs with. Um, but that's kind of what EA wants you to focus on right now, right? I'm also trying to get some squad battles games done. I think they know that people are scrambling to get all these packs attained for team of the year. So we've had these past couple days of content that have just been okay. Nothing crazy. Um, besides yesterday with one section, right? And I have to talk about this because I think this is the best value icon SBC that we have had yet uh, in this game. Prime Kaka. It's coming in at about a million, 1.05 million coins for this SBC. His market price is about 1.2 million coins. He was 1.4 mil before this SBC leaks uh, came out. And I think that when fodder drops during team of the year, this Kaka is going to be craftable. His price on Footbin, I think as it shows right now, it really is like a million coins. But I think this card's price, yeah, 1.05. I think he's going to end up being like 900,000 coins during team of the year. If you're doing upgrade packs with all the Brazilian links like Pato with Vinny Jr., so many hyped Brazilian cards in this game as of late and even in this game of FIFA in general, this Kaká, five-star skill, if you're a Kaká fan or you just want to craft something during team of the year with upgrade packs, this SBC is going to be great value. It really is. I'm a big fan of this and GG's to EA Sports for uh, making this price what it was. I think the Vidic SBC is okay. It's not great, um, but also that's going to drop during team of the year as well. Now, I know that Kaká is in packs, but I mean, man, this SBC is really, really good value. And I think he is on par, if not better value than best or Zola for the type of card that you are getting. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot, high medium work rates, great shooting stats, great pace, of course. I mean, he's got finesse shot trait, speed dribbler, flair. I mean, he's got really, really good stats. He's an iconic player, no pun intended, as he's an icon in this game as well. So I love that SBC for me, eh? big time GG. So that's what's kind of going on in this game right now. I know it's crazy times with all of the leaks. And of course, if you're trying to stay away from those, I get it, right? The element of surprise with all these leaks has kind of gone away, right? And it's a bit unfortunate that that is the thing, but kind of right now what we're doing is we're adapting so i want to respect you guys that are not wanting to see the leaks i totally get that but you're you're gonna be you're gonna have to make a lot of effort to not see the leaks because they're literally getting posted everywhere they're getting talked about um because it's just kind of the way that, that this, this uh content and the way that ea kind of letting these details slip through the cracks and then people finding them and you know throwing them out there for everybody to see and everybody wants to get that inside scoop right they want to know they want to know what the information is. They want to have that knowledge and feel ahead of the game. That's why people grab onto this information and they love it. And that's why it's gotten so much attention, so much popularity, so much hype recently uh, because of that. So 
leaked team of the year. I know it's crazy, and I know that does kill the hype a little bit. I wish these leaks were uh, not here too. I totally get it. I wish that I was surprised by a lot more stuff on this game, but that's just not the way that it is right now until EA changes things. And boys, let me get let me tell you and get it straight. It's an EA issue, right? They need to figure out because before this was not a problem, right? Or it was a lot smaller of a problem than it is right now. So they need to tighten the rope, close up the holes, whatever it may be to fix this up um, unless they want to have this continue to happen on this game. And that would really ruin a lot of hype for some people. So we'll continue to roll with it um, and roll with the punches. But it is crazy to see Team of the Year. And if you have not seen it yet, you're going to see it on Thursday because EA is going to post it. But boys, let me know what you think. If you watched the first part of the video, let me know what you think of the League Team of the Year down below in the comments. What you think about this market right now? Still, again, whenever that hero comes out, whenever the 85 plus comes out, Wednesday or Thursday, of course, I think there's another chance for a small dip on the market on those out of pack special cards and baby icons. And then after that, you're going to see some stuff rise. So be on the lookout for our team of the year price predictions video. It's going to take that leak team of the year, put some price predictions on it in this year's market using my opinion and all the calculations that we do to figure that out. But if you enjoyed this one, smash the thumbs up on it. Of course, comment down below with any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.